Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm having fried biscuits. Yep, I said fried biscuits. And I'm having air fried, country fried ribs. Just took them out the air fryer, so they are definitely steaming. So, you, know, you can see the steam coming out of them. Okay, so without further ado, I'm going to say my grace. Amen. Okay, this is sitting up kind of high, but just to give you guys a glimpse, that's what I'm eating. So, I'm going to take one of these pieces out, and I'm going to lower it down. Nope, that's not working because you can't see it at all, so I'm just going to have to deal with it that way. Okay, so, these are fried biscuits. Um, a lot of times when you go on Facebook and you go to Facebook, it, uh, it's like a little TV or something, I believe, and you hit it and it's like all these different videos of different things, people doing different videos. So, I happen to see this one. And, um, I tried it recently with the, um, Grand's Biscuit. I like Grand's Biscuits, the flaky ones. And... I'll try it with the Hawaiian roll biscuit. If you like sweet bread, you will love that. These are just the buttery ones. And I fry them in a, in a non-stick pan, but I fry them with butter. They go up. Mmm. I taste just like it's a biscuit. Still good. Be good with jelly on it. Um, whatever you want to put in, like sausage and uh, eggs, so it's bacon and eggs or whatever. But I like this. I have like a little crisp crunch to it. It's going to, um, here. And inside is like a bit of supposed to Not so. I am. Um, let me try this first. It's hot. I don't even want to try and bite it. Okay. Country ribs are the best fried. I just recently started doing this in the air fryer, and I like it both the air fryer and pan fryer. Pan fried not the healthiest, but it's really good. Now, I don't like them baked. I don't know what bacon does to them, but it takes away a lot of flavor. It don't keep the flavor locked in. So, I like them air fried or pan fried, deep fried. Like, they're good. This is lunch, my first molar down. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about I might talk a little more a little bit about pain. And I've talked about it before in one of my videos. I don't know. I don't kind of remember how in depth I got in it, but especially my pain. And I, I take supplements now instead of keep trying to take medication because I have been taking medication for years so much till even if I was still going to be in pain I shouldn't be in this kind of pain and I don't always hurt this bad it come I feel like the pain never leaves some days are better than others but I decided to go like natural with natural stuff to let it heal the body, my body. So I wrote down what I take because I know what I take. 
but I still wrote it down because sometimes I might forget one thing, which I almost did actually. So, I don't know if you guys ever heard me talk about God to make this earth, but God to make this earth is something I've been taking for a while. Um, it could be coming up on a year, maybe a year, but it does a lot of good things for your body. It's food grade. They got two different kinds, but I don't think they would let anybody buy the chemical grade unless you had some type of license. But it's food grade, and it's good for a lot of things. I'm not going to get into the benefits of stuff. Like the benefits of the supplement. Well, I take them, I'm not going to get into the benefits of it, so... Yeah, if you want to know that, you can look it up. But that can make sure I take a tablespoon or two a day. Not at the same time. But if I don't take two, I definitely take one every day. I take a potassium supplement. We need potassium. Our bodies need potassium, and um, none of us eat enough potassium. Um, people say bananas got potassium. They do, but they don't have half the potassium. Not even a quarter of the potassium that our bodies need every day. So um, I take a potassium supplement, which I will be drinking probably after I'm done with my food. It's in here. And it's a thousand milligrams of potassium. I also take magnesium. That has magnesium in it too. That has a few things in it, but that has like 120 grams of magnesium. For females, we need like 400 plus milligrams a day. So I take another supplement of magnesium, which is 400 um, milligrams. It's pills. The pills are 100 milligrams. So I take four, two twice a day. And then I get the extra 120 when I drink my potassium supplement. I also take something called Wild Harvest all of Oregano. Those are drops. I take three or more drops once a day for now. I just recently started taking that. But it's like a natural antibiotic. And oh my God, it does so many things for the body. Everything that you hear me talk about right now, there's a lot of things for our bodies that our bodies actually need. And like I said, I'm in the process of trying to heal my body with all these ailments. And instead of keep taking this medicine that I'm getting from the doctors, that is simply not working. Then with this coronavirus thing going on, you can't even see the doctor no more. They, you know, you have to do a televisit. And I have new doctors, so I need to see them. I'm only seeing one. I got other doctors I need to see, and they knew we never met before. I also take vitamin C. Now there's a lot of vitamin C. A lot of these supplements are out here, but they're, I'm learning that they're not the real vitamin C, what we should be taking. So, I'll take a vitamin C supplement. I take a half a teaspoon twice a day. And, and water, you're drinking or whatever you want, putting in food or whatever. But it's recommended to take a teaspoon a day. And I can put it in, don't do the whole teaspoon at one time. So since I'm only doing two teaspoons, I do it twice a day. When I go up to, um, when I go up to, I'm only doing one teaspoon, so I do two, a half a teaspoon twice a day. When I go up to four teaspoons, I'll be doing a half a teaspoon four times a day. Um, it's always been said, everybody needs to take vitamin C. Everybody. All the stuff. I also take um, vitamin D3. Vitamin D3 is something you need to. Not something you get from the sun, but most people can't just sit out and be in the sun like me. I can't do direct sunlight. I can't. So, I take vitamin D3. I'm going to add fish oil to my regimen when I find the right one because I'm going to take it when I take the vitamin D3. It's a guy that I watch on YouTube. His kid's name is Sean Martu. And he's like, he does a, a lot of research on health. On natural remedies. Natural 
supplements. So this is where I get a lot of this stuff from because he does a lot of research. And then he tells you where you get it from. You can go, you go do your own. Some of it's not easy to find because it's, I think it's, it's probably meant to be hidden. So, somehow you just find it. Most time people are not going to read anyway. And if they do, they ain't going to do but so much digging. So. Well, yeah, his name is Sean Ma, too. I'm trying to look at the time. Can't really see it. Okay, I'll see about it now. Yup, so. Those are something that I take down with Dr. potassium, magnesium, vitamin C, all of oregano, and. Mmm. Vitamin D3. Mm. I bit my tongue and I've never bit my tongue under. And I did this and mm, it hurt bad. Oh my goodness. It's gonna be so for a long time. When you bite your tongue, when you move with somebody, it hurt for a very long time. Yeah, it's a lot of pain in it. Mm. Yeah, it hurt. Mm. Oh, yeah, that hurt. It hurt, man. Oh, my gosh. Ah. Oh yeah, I bit the mess out there. I can feel it. Mm. It had like a little knot, a lump on it. Wait, when I bit this skin or tissue, whatever your tongue made, I'll probably smush together and it pinched till it left a imprint. Oh, I got to be more careful. So those are the um, supplements that I take. Now, I kind of want to talk about pain a little bit. The reason I'm taking these supplements, or what led me to start researching and trying to find stuff that was natural to take is because like I said, I've been going to this place for so long, and it's like, I shouldn't be going through this amount of pain still from all these years. So it tells me something. Right. Somebody's going to want me to get healthy. And I know... As you get older, you know, you, you kind of think about things and you kind of figure out things, especially when you're going through stuff. It make you wonder, make you think, somebody must not want me healthy. But why? And I'm learning that it's not just me, it's all of us. We get, we get healthy to a certain extent. But we don't get healthy enough so that we don't need to go to the doctor. But like once you start going, you gotta keep going back, keep going back. They used to come back every two, every two weeks, every two weeks, every two weeks. They used to do that to me until I start, like, why am I coming back every two weeks and you're just gonna basically say the same thing and give me the same thing or give me something different that don't do nothing like what you gave me before. And I used to give them so much lip or whatever you want to call it till they stop telling me come first they say once a month well every two weeks then from that once a month then from that to every three months every time I go back when I just when I decide to go I can go back for them to check on my stuff. 
so I can know how the supplements or whatever I'm doing or taking is doing. Everything I was doing, I'm doing is working. I think I just added vitamin C to my regimen. Not a lot of fat, excuse me. Um, I like some fat, but some fat I can't. But trying to get the meat out of it. Um, as I go day by day and kind of research and stuff, I find out different things about us and our bodies and things. And what our bodies need to keep doing what they're supposed to do. I mean, a lot of us say do a lot of damage. But most of everything that I've done can be corrected. So I say, show them my two. Y'all need to show them my two up on YouTube. Y'all already got some of the stuff on there for all different kinds of elements on his channel. Uh, herpes, um, diabetes, HIV, male issues, and I was done. Look him up, Sean Martu. I was taking vitamin C before. As I was hearing, we all, all of us need to take it. Everybody. I bought a supplement. Nature's made. I stopped taking it. Not because of him. Not because of Sean Mark too. I stopped taking it a long time ago. I just stopped taking it. I don't know why. And someone told me to stop thinking, that's what I did. I had nature's made potassium, I had nature's made magnesium, and nature's made vitamin C. And I stopped taking all of them a little more. I lately I was having real bad leg cramps. At night, be sweet, oh my gosh, my legs are up. I'm still having them, but not as much. I guess they're going away now. But... So I have what the potassium for and magnesium. Excuse me. Those legs cramps, cramps could be a way of telling me, <coughs> excuse me, that my body needs some magnesium, more, more potassium. And since I've included the magnesium and potassium back into my life, leg cramps are slowly going away. Now I can tell you what does make a lot of this stuff act up. Drinking. I don't drink half as much as I used to. I used to be an everyday drinker. I was young. <laughs> but. Drinking make me hurt so much. You know, it might be having fun, feeling good, and then I'm toe up, or whatever, but those three or four days are hurting extra bad. Is it worth it? No. And sometimes I just have stuff on my mind, I just want to take a drink. And the rest of this happens just stopping all together because it's. Definitely slowing down. I mean, not something slowed down. 
also. Pain and weight loss. A lot of people might don't understand why you can't lose weight. There's a lot of different studies on things. Cortisol, insulin resistance for your stomach, and all that stuff. But, and I believe that stuff is true to a, to a sense. Or in a sense. But what I'm learning about myself is the amount of pain that my body goes through it raises my stress levels. And that's automatic. I ain't got to be going to feel about nothing or nothing. But if you're in pain, of course, you're going to stress. Because so you're hurting. Your body is in stress. All your old, everything is in stress when you're hurting. So, that's what this weight is. That's why you can't, I can't get rid of it. Um, I'll lose some. Sometimes I lose a really good, good amount. But once my body starts hurting, it, 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 that stress comes again. It changes everything. It even changes me as far as the stuff that I do. Sometimes I just be hurting somebody. I just want to drink so I can just be, fall asleep, be knocked out. Because if you're hurting real bad, you can't sleep. So, that definitely plays a big part. I don't know if I cook this piece too long or not, but it's still flavorful, but it's different. It's the first one I ever had that but it didn't feel real, taste real juicy. It's juicy, but it's different. It's hard to break. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I did. Oh, well, maybe that's just the way the meat is. But it's not hard, huh? It's still good. But back to what I was saying about the, the stress and the pain. The stress, um, stress calls to put your body through a lot. And for those of us that heard of that, we just look at it, so we need some pain medicine or we need something. Again, you might lose 5 or 10 pounds, maybe 20. Next thing you know, you can gain your back then, so. But I hear everybody say, um, well, I'm not really eating all this and that and that and that. The system is off. We are different, so for whatever reason, but I can tell the ones who suffer from constant pain like I do, that's playing a big part of it. Or they're not being able to lose weight because it's the stress levels that your body goes through. Because really, we can eat what we want. I ain't taking eat as much as we want. But even in the caloric deficit, Look how your stomach will go down. Now, I did it before. I tried it before. I'm about to go back to calorie counting. It went down a lot. If I was stuck with the long side, it, it would be... Yeah. But I test things out. Because I need to know what works for me. Because everything's not going to work for everybody. I think a caloric deficit would. It's just a how fast will it work for you, that's the thing. And people like to see results almost overnight. That's why a lot of people don't stick to stuff. And they don't see results fast enough. Everything takes time. Sometimes when you um you go to the doctor and you get a medication, the doctor would tell you excuse me, he would tell you, um, 
30 days. This is the number four. There's two more there. I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna eat those. I think I could have done that. Yeah. Yeah, they say 30 days. But imagine giving your system. Oh, well. Yeah. Once they get in your system, then what? <laughs> You're still going back and back and back and back to the doctor. It's a business, you know. Keeping it sick to a certain extent. I guess until our bodies just say they could, because our bodies probably don't have enough. And that's that. That's it. But we all can do some research and for us and what we're going through, because well, all of us are not going through the same thing, but We can do some research and try to find what worked for us. Now, another reason why a lot of people don't, or not, is healthy or try to get as healthy is because of the cost of stuff. This stuff, you have to buy all these different supplements, stuff not cheap. If you got the government, Paying for most of your prescription or all of it for the ones they want to give you. That's for me. I pay a call pay for my medicine, it's getting higher and higher. So I'm like, if I gotta pay all this for that and I ain't doing nothing, might as well go ahead and work your research something that's gonna after you do something for me and just buy it. I wanted to use my Yeti, my my son bought me a blue Yeti, a blue Yeti X. Amazon, um, excuse me, was supposed to deliver it two days ago. But when they deliver and deliver it to the post office, I don't never know where I'm going to get it. Once it's sent to the post office, instead of just bringing it here. And I got a message sent to come today. I wanted to try it, test it today. No, I might test it tomorrow. Well, we'll see. I add a picture on it. At the end of the video, I add a picture. It's um, it's black. It's called a blue yeti. It's black. I should put a, a picture in the box. But, um, I'm gonna cut this video short. Probably just been like 30 minutes. But I really just wanted to talk about uh, my supplements and pain. So, people, guys, if you're in that if really in a chronic pain like I am, this is a day in the day out pain. Start doing some research on your ailments. Go to YouTube and look up Sean Mar 2. He got a lot of videos on a lot of different things, but look them up. If you want to feel better, look them up. I want to thank you guys for coming back to a video, another video.
Uh, you know, I appreciate you very, very, very much. I've got to come back again and like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. And, mm hmm. Yeah, my tongue. Uh -huh. It really hurts. Let me see something. I thought the people were going to be coming right there. I love this one. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Mm, my potassium. A thousand milligrams, guys. I told you we all need this. We all need potassium. <clears throat> Got a nice little lemony flavor. And this help with the leg cramps, like I said. Diatomaceous earth, potassium, magnesium, all of oregano, wild harvest, all of oregano, vitamin D3, and vitamin C is what I take. So, this is the V, which is me. And I'm signing out. I'll see you guys again on the next one, and thanks again for watching.